So, you want to know about the two-day rule. Well, the two-day rule, strictly speaking, is not a pattern. It's more of a guideline that you can use when getting an entry in an already established trend. The way that this pattern will work is it has two big days against a trend. You'll find the third day against a trend is typically weak and can be a good day to buy against that movement. What we mean by that is if you have an established bull market where the shares are increasing in price, it has one big down day and closes. Second day opens, big down day, closes. On that third day, you're unlikely to get another big down day. You're likely to get maybe a small down day or a reversal. So the price starts to want to go back upwards. It also works a similar way in down markets. So the shares will be declining. You'll have one big up day and close. Two big up days. The third day, look for weakness and start to sell into that third day. The way that this works is that professional traders will look to be buying big deep dips in established bull markets and they'll be selling big rallies in established bear markets. This pattern will only work with big down days or big up days. We don't want you to be using this pattern when you're getting smaller down days against an established uptrend. What we want to show you now is typically how this will be presented in a stock market chart and also the psychology behind it and why it works the way it does. Let's look at the two day rule in an established uptrend. So this would be a typical representation of a stock market chart that is trending higher. You're having pullbacks, which is normal. The pullbacks are getting bought and the market is continuing its upside. So let's look at the psychology behind the two day rule. The big down day one could be caused by big traders with big money taking some profits, causing a mass of selling activity enough to make the share price fall for a big down day. On the second day, the nimble traders have noticed the big selling activity and maybe expect another big down day. So they then become sellers as well. The new and inexperienced traders may become a little bit jittery that we've had two big down days and they may want to sell on the third day expecting more downside. However, the big money that sold on day one would be at a profit if it bought back at day three. And that a lot of the time is what you will find. Sellers on day one will buy back on day three when some other people that are inexperienced are selling their shares. The two day rule works best when used in conjunction with buy lines. You can see the market is bouncing off the buy line. It then rallies up and has two big down days hitting the buy line. So you could buy on the second down day and also when the market is touching a buy line. So the two day rule on a real stock market chart, we have a bit of an uptrend, one big down day, two big down days. On the third day, we actually have an up day. So the sellers have well and truly been shaken out the market by the third day. Those who sold on the beginning of day one have an opportunity two days later to buy back a lot lower. So the people who caused this down move are likely to be buying back on the day three, which would have seen a good rally and that would have been a very good trade. There is other examples of a third day rally after two big down days. We have got other little rules like this on our eDVD. So if you like this rule, then do check out the eDVD on technical analysis. Just to recap on a few points, this is two big days against an established trend. What we mean by established is not something that's been going up for a week and a half. That is not an established trend. An established trend would be something that has been ascending for weeks, maybe even months. Then if you see two big down days, you should maybe think about using the two day rule. There is a variation to this rule. And it is a lot more riskier, so we only advise that if you've been trading for over a year and you know what you're doing to use this following strategy. You have an up market, an established up market. Day number one opens and closes, so you have a big down day. The second day opens and drops. 
Now you can buy into that drop. You don't have to wait until the market is closed because on some occasions you might get a rally and the market may end up closing and putting in a bit of a swing day. That is a very risky strategy. However, it can work quite well if you know how to use the pattern. What we would say is if you do buy on the third day after two big down days and you get another big down day, then consider this might be something a little bit more than a pullback and the market may be about to go on a new trend downwards, whether it be short term or long term. The next video that you will need to divert your attention towards is the triangle patterns.